Hi everybody, it's Sue here. Are you ready to begin our brand new study of God's Word by going through the Christian classic Captivating by John and Stacy Eldridge? This week, we're going to be looking at the intro and chapter one predominantly. But I want to tell you my story. For decades, I hated myself. This is the literal truth. I was either too much or not enough. I either watched and walked in so much pride or I walked in so much shame. I had highs and I had very low lows. I didn't know who God had created me to be and I could not figure out his will for my life. I was a mother, I was a wife, I was a pastor's wife, and I still was clueless. Even as I got into God's word, I'm just being honest. But then about 20 years ago, he, Jesus, began to connect the dots of my life. As I earnestly and ardently sought his presence and the life breath of his word into my being, rather than reading the Bible as a check-off Christian duty discipline, when those things began to happen, that I would press into the power of the Holy Spirit, when I would press into his felt comfort, joy, peace, and release, did the words of these pages start to make sense for me personally? Yes, they always had all along, but I that life breath of his upon my life brought such healing, such deliverance, such freedom. And this all took place about 20 years ago in my late 40s. And soon after, the original captivating book came out from John and Stacy. And what was so exciting at that time is it confirmed and affirmed the breakthrough that I was experiencing. I have felt, as we look at the intro in chapter one this week, that you too can press in. I want to draw you into Jesus' presence. I want you to know him more than Sunday mornings, but that he intimately is acquainted with your life. You have call, you have purpose, and if that's something you still struggle with, or hearing his voice, or knowing what his will is for your life, my prayer is that captivating along with his word and the ignition of the Holy Spirit Spirit's fire upon the life breath of this word will speak such healing and deliverance. Let's move past our addictions, our stuff, our behaviors, our reactions, the things that keep us mired. We're going to talk about that. Let's draw close to him, hearing his voice daily so we know what to do next. Let's let the past wounds and lies that we have believed about ourselves be taken off in layers so that when we wake up in the morning, we hear his voice and we know what he's called us to do, walking in all his fulfillment and purpose. My heart's cry for this study as we lead up to, to Christmas. We're going we're gonna to end probably at the end of November, and then we'll do a Christmas study. But my heart's cry is that each of us will fall in love with the person God made us to be, that we'll grow more comfortable in our skin and more endued on high with His power to reach a dying world. Together, let's learn that we truly are captivating to Jesus, and He has made us wonderful. I'm so excited to, again to do this study with you, and I'll see you on the Facebook Crosspoint pages. God bless you guys.